Welcome to America, the intubating laryngeal tube. Welcome to America, the intubating laryngeal tube. And this one happens to be a combo of size 4 and 5. Maximum high uh, ET tube allowed through this lumen, 8.0. Different technique of insertion. I wonder. I saw the instructions. And what's noted different. Look at that large orifice. It's a large orifice right here. For ET tube. Hmm. Gastric tube channel is still provided. But on the side. Right here. Right where the finger is pointing at. No longer where the tube in the back exact posterior aspect, like the King LT. Hmm. Hope it works well on mannequins, and hope to get access to a cadaver lab again. Hmm. Mysteries by VBM. One thing, one knock against this, is you gotta know the device well, and have followed the instructions. So here, it says, not more than twice use, and it does not say anything about how many cc's have been inflated. I'm going to tell you, it's, this is the, I always take the lowest number. And the lowest number for this device will be around 70 cc's for the size 4. If it's in this range of the mouth. Where the teeth are inserted. And here. With the 80 cc's. Not the max dose. Alright. And supposedly an 18 French suction catheter will fit through here. As you can tell. These are probably dimensions for uh, dictated by an anesthesiologist, by not not, not an ER doctor. An 80 tube it can fit through here. It can fit through this. Highly ideal. Highly ideal. All right. We'll see. Time will tell. This device will get modifications and get better. All right. Introduction to the intubating. Laryngeal tube that provides suctioning and disposable after one time use. Alright. Bye.